Hello everybody, uh, Grumpy Drock here and today I am going to use the Karcher K3 Power Control Car Kit uh, as I saw in the pre as I showed you in a previous video uh, with the uh, Bring Back the Wow that comes with it the nozzle that comes with it and the brush again it comes in the car kit see if the car kit itself is any good uh, and see if it does the job say Karcher K3 Power Control with the power control element on the handle the car we're going to go do today is a dirty car it is a utility vehicle as you can see skoda yeti and it is pretty dirty um, because it is the middle of winter in scotland and things uh, do get dirty a lot of salt in the road uh, also i've been a bit remiss i've not cleaned this car for some months so today we'll try out the new power washer and see how good it is okay first things first need to set up the power washer um, so we will plug in the power cable, just got an extension cable coming out the house, uh, keeping that away from where the water is actually going to be. And then on the back of the uh, power washer, you remember from my first video where I set it up, I've got a universal hose connector, so just plug that in here. Now that's that connected. Before you turn it on, you have to turn the water on, so I'll go and do okay, that Okay, so now. I have uh, now turned uh, the water on and I'm connecting the variable power lands. As you can see around there, the variable power settings. So as I said in the setup video, in, twist, now it's connected. You can see there, it's got the variable power control. So I haven't yet turned it on, but you need to make sure you've got water coming through. You can hear the air coming out of it there. And that's water coming through now. That's just main, mains water coming through. So now there's mains water coming through, I can turn the power washer on. Okay, so I've now turned the power washer on and I want to have this set on the settings to the car setting there. So to do that, I twist the lance. And it's not currently on the softest setting, so I want to twist the lance to move up to the hardest and that should push through. There we are, it's too hard, so that's too hard there. And then move it back slightly, up slightly. And that is on the medium setting for car. So the first thing I'm gonna do is give the car a good rinse on this setting. Okay, so I've just given the outside of the car uh, once over with uh, the setting on medium and I've taken off the worst of the mud that was sprayed up the side of the car and I've just identified there uh, a nice chip uh, in the paintwork of the car which we're going to have to deal with. Um, but that has just taken the worst of it off. I'll do the rest of the car now. Uh, right, that's the car being given a once over, uh, and you can see the dirt that's come out from underneath the uh, wheel archers 
Uh, just gonna blast it out there. Still not perfect, I'll get that finished off, but a vast improvement there. And the worst of the dirt that was on the side of the car has been removed. I'm now gonna go to the wash. This is the one that comes in the kit and it comes with the nozzle for it. Uh, now, you remember from my previous video, the K3 does have a detergent dispenser as part of the kit, but this is what Cartridge gives you for the car kit. So let's see if it's any good. Right, I've now replaced the pressure control ones with the uh, foam nozzle at the end uh, and they bring back the well shampoo. I'll be interested to see if this automatically sets itself uh, to the mix setting as it is currently or if it goes up to what it was on before. But let's try it out. All right, well, that's the whole car um, now coated in shampoo. And you say it's a shampoo, not a foam wash. What's interesting though, one car, that whole pot is away and it did go on the hard setting rather than the mix. Now, I don't know if I did something wrong there, but I would have thought it would automatically adjust itself to where it should be. But I will uh, now try the brush which comes with the kit. Okay, so I've replaced the uh, foam nozzle and the shampoo with the brush that comes in the kit. And we'll see how this is at cleaning off the worst of the dirt in the car. Right, so that's the finish with the brush. So we'll take this off uh, and we'll put the pressure control lance back on for a final uh, rinse off the car. Okay then, final verdict of the first use Catra K3 car kit uh, as it comes uh, without any aftermarket or anything else. Has it brought back the wow uh, as the shampoo promises? Well, all I can say is it's thirsty on the shampoo. Uh, it's half a litre uh, gone just like that on one sort of mid-sized uh, utility vehicle. So that is um, thirsty. But again, I use that with the foam nozzle, which would traditionally be for uh, your foam washes, pre-washes. Uh, rather than uh, a shampoo of which the Karcher has its own inbuilt dispenser for. So I'll do that next time to compare uh, if it's better using the inbuilt uh, in the machine or using the foam nozzle. Um, the foam nozzle itself, I thought, you know, for a shampoo, because it wasn't foam, put a good covering over the car. Um, but as it was shampoo, it did drop off by the time it got round to the other side. The brush, less convinced about. Um, see, it's pretty dirty just after one use there. Feel slight concern that it could be taking up grit and stuff into there though it does have a decent flow going through it to wash itself out during use um, but I think it's probably reserved that for the the harder um, dirty areas of the car you know down along the sills etc uh, that you can see here uh, and around the, the wheel arches and use a bucket and a uh, cloth uh, as you would normally for washing the car with the shampoo perhaps uh, I thought the power control worked well uh, easy to adjust 
uh, just by twisting the end of the nozzle. I did have to go up to hard, uh, which if I turn up that way, low to hard, uh, to do up in the wheel arches to get the mud off there. The car setting wasn't enough, though I have identified, I haven't washed this car for a few months, I have identified a few um, scratches, or not scratches, but chips in the car just from uh, wear and tear uh, on the winter roads and uh, the car setting didn't increase the flakage of the paint which is pleasing to see so i think overall a thumbs up for the the catcher k3 and i think it worked well uh with the exception of the, the brush which i'm slightly less convinced about uh this is a new youtube channel any likes or subscriptions would be much appreciated uh, and again comment if you think uh you know i've used it wrong or you think there's a better way of doing it uh then let me know uh next time i going to use this will be using the home kit that came with the, the home and car kit uh, to clean a particularly dirty patio so uh, watch out for that one coming soon thank you